So here are the two LEDs that I'm going to use to illuminate the house numbers. And all this will be solar powered by this small solar panel. This is only like half a watt, but it's enough to charge this battery here. And this is the chip that is going to power this light. This is a QX5252F. There's a built-in charge controller and there's a light sensor. Actually, the solar panel will be the light sensor and the light will go on nighttime and then when morning comes, it will turn off the light. Battery goes down to less than one volt, it will stop uh, discharging. This is the first box I made. But it's a little, like two millimeter too short, so I have to print another one. That's why you have all the noise back there. But everything will fit into the box here, and then the solar panel will go on top, and then the LEDs will come out from the side. So, with the chip facing you, the numbers are on here. When you see the numbers, you know you have the right side. So there are four pins. One is solar plus, that's from solar panel. And this is from the battery, battery plus. And then you have the negative here. All the negative can connects to this. And then the fourth pin here is the LED positive out. In my case, I added the switching dial one end 4148 so it goes like this right the back the black part facing down so you have the LED pin out here you connect this pin to the switching dial and then this part here connects to your LED positive and the negative connects to the negative now the connection for the inductor is between the second and the fourth flake of the chip is from battery plus to LED plus so you just like bridge the two legs with the inductor basically that's the idea and then you put the whole thing either on a circuit board or you can actually uh, twist all the wires together if you can do that but of course it will be ni nicer and neater if you can put everything on a circuit board and then I just cover it with some Capcom tape just so nothing will get shorted out and then I use a connector to connect for easier connection to the LEDs so as simple as that this single battery will power the LEDs for hours and hours because this is not like the regular way of powering an, an LED this uses very high frequency pulses so the, L the LED seems to be on all the time but actually the light is pulsing or the LED is pulsing very fast and it gives you the illusion that the light is on all the time. The pulsing is what gives it the properties of low current uh, demand. So that's why this is similar to the Jewel Thief type circuit and this is the type of circuit that is used in all of the garden lights.